Is America at cyber war with China? It's a question that's been echoing in the corridors of power and reverberating through the global cybersecurity community. The tension is palpable, the stakes are astronomical, and the implications are far-reaching. We're living in an era where warfare isn't just about bullets and bombs anymore. It's about bites and bits. It's about invisible warriors, armed not with guns, but with keyboards. It's about battles waged not on land or sea, but in the vast, intangible realm of cyberspace. The United States and China, two global superpowers, find themselves locked in a new kind of Cold War, a cybersecurity Cold War. This isn't a war of ideologies or territorial disputes. This is a war of information and infrastructure, a war where the weapons are codes and the casualties are data. The number of cyber attacks is on a steep rise. Every day, countless networks, systems, and databases are being infiltrated, compromised, and exploited. And the finger of suspicion is increasingly being pointed towards China. China, with its vast technological capabilities and its remarkable prowess in information technology, is being seen as a formidable adversary in this cyber warfare. A silent, unseen force that's constantly probing, testing, and attacking America's digital defenses. These aren't just random, isolated incidents. They are part of a larger, more sinister pattern. A pattern that suggests a systematic, state-sponsored cyber offensive. An offensive that's aimed at destabilizing America's digital infrastructure, at causing chaos and confusion, at stealing sensitive information, and at gaining a strategic advantage in this new age of warfare. But remember, this is a war where the enemy is invisible, where the attacks are silent, and where the battlefield is everywhere and nowhere at the same time. This is a war that cannot be won with guns and tanks, but with firewalls and encryption algorithms. In this new age of warfare, the battleground has shifted from physical to digital. In the past decade, we've seen a surge in cyber attacks. Let's take a walk down memory lane, shall we? Our timeline begins in 2011. Remember Operation Aurora? It was a series of cyber attacks conducted by China-based hackers that targeted top-tier corporations like Google. The hackers successfully stole intellectual property and also gained access to the email accounts of human rights activists. Fast forward to 2014, and we have the infamous Operation Aurora 2.0. This time the attacks were even more sophisticated, targeting several American industries, from telecommunications to healthcare. Soon after, in 2015, we witnessed the massive breach of the United States Office of Personnel Management. This attack, suspected to be from China, resulted in the theft of personal data of approximately 21 and a half million employees. The breach was a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities in our cybersecurity infrastructure. In 2017, the Cloud Hopper operation was unveiled. This was a multi-year campaign that infiltrated the networks of managed IT service providers, impacting thousands of their clients globally. The hackers, linked to China, had unprecedented access to intellectual property and sensitive data across multiple sectors. Just last year, in 2023, we experienced the SolarWinds hack. While Russia was the prime suspect, some experts believe that China might have played a role too. This attack compromised the systems of numerous government agencies and private organizations, leading to serious national security implications. These cyber attacks have not only resulted in the theft of sensitive information, but they've also undermined trust in digital infrastructure. They've disrupted services, caused extensive financial losses, and exposed the vulnerabilities of even the most secure networks. These attacks have been devastating, causing billions in damages and posing a significant threat to national security. The timeline we've explored is a stark reminder of the escalating threat landscape. As we move forward, it's paramount that we bolster our defenses to protect against the ever-evolving cyber threats. The aftermath of these attacks is far-reaching. In the wake of a cyber attack, the economic ripples can be cataclysmic. A single breach can cost an organization millions, sometimes billions of dollars in lost revenue, recovery expenses, and reputational damage. This, in turn, can lead to job losses and economic instability. But the impact isn't confined to the direct victims alone. Shareholders, customers, and even entire industries can suffer the fallout. The political implications, too, are profound. Cyber attacks can erode trust in governments and institutions, undermining democracy itself. They can expose state secrets, disrupt critical infrastructure, and sow discord among allies. In the worst-case scenario, they can even be acts of war, escalating geopolitical tensions to dangerous new heights. But let's not forget the social impacts. 
our lives are increasingly intertwined with the digital world. From our personal data to our social interactions, cyber attacks can infringe upon our privacy, exploit our identities, and disrupt our daily lives. They can foster fear and uncertainty, altering the way we interact with technology and each other. Looking ahead, the potential risks and dangers of future attacks are daunting. As technology advances, so too do the tools and techniques at the disposal of cyber criminals. The advent of quantum computing, for instance, may render our current encryption methods obsolete, leaving our data more vulnerable than ever. Meanwhile, the rise of artificial intelligence could enable attacks of unprecedented scale and sophistication. Moreover, the threat landscape is constantly evolving. New vulnerabilities are discovered every day, and the line between state-sponsored attacks and cybercrime is becoming increasingly blurred. This makes it incredibly difficult to predict and prevent attacks, let alone attribute them to a specific perpetrator. The threat is real and the stakes are high. As we navigate this digital age, we must remain vigilant. The security of our economies, our politics, and our personal lives hangs in the balance, and the cost of complacency could be catastrophic. So how is America fighting back? Well, let's dive right in. The American government is not sitting idle amid the growing cyber threats. On the contrary, it's responding with a multi-layered strategy designed to fortify its digital defenses. Let's break that down a bit. Firstly, there's an increased emphasis on building robust cybersecurity infrastructure. This involves modernizing outdated systems, integrating advanced technologies, and investing in state-of-the-art defense mechanisms. The aim is to create a digital fortress capable of both detecting and deflecting cyber threats. Secondly, the government is actively developing rigorous cybersecurity policies. These policies lay down the ground rules for how to handle sensitive information, how to respond to cyber attacks, and how to penalize offenders. They're essentially the playbook for America's cyber defense strategy. To ensure these policies are implemented effectively, the government has established dedicated cybersecurity agencies. These agencies play a critical role in coordinating the nation's cyber defense efforts. They not only enforce the policies, but also provide guidance and support to other entities including businesses and individuals. But it's not just about defense. The American government is also investing heavily in cybersecurity research. This research is aimed at staying one step ahead of the cyber criminals and hackers. It includes investigating new types of cyber threats, developing cutting-edge defense technologies, and exploring innovative ways to enhance cybersecurity. And let's not forget about education and awareness. The government recognizes that cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility. So it's making concerted efforts to educate the public about the importance of cybersecurity and how to protect themselves online. In essence, America's response to cyber threats is comprehensive and multifaceted. It's a combination of infrastructure development, policy formulation, agency coordination, research investment, and public education. And while the battle is far from over, these efforts are helping to strengthen America's digital defenses and safeguard the nation's cybersecurity. It's a race against time to secure our digital frontiers. Where do we go from here? That's the question that we find ourselves asking as we peer into the foggy horizon of the future of cybersecurity. And it's no easy question to answer, given the complexities of the digital age and the cyber warfare that's unfolding between powers like America and China. Let's imagine a few potential scenarios. Take, for instance, the rise of quantum computing. This technology could dramatically shift the balance of power, rendering current encryption methods obsolete and leaving sensitive data exposed. On one hand, it could be harnessed for good, creating new, unbreakable encryption methods. On the other hand, in the wrong hands, it could become a powerful weapon. It's also worth considering the impact of artificial intelligence. AI has the potential to revolutionize cybersecurity, automating threat detection and response, and learning from each attack to better defend against the next. But it could also be used to launch sophisticated attacks that are harder to detect and counter. The Internet of Things (IoT) also poses new challenges and opportunities. As we become more connected, our vulnerability increases. Smart devices could become the new frontier for cyber attacks, making it even more crucial to prioritize security in these devices. And let's not forget the human element. The role of cybersecurity professionals will continue to evolve. They'll need to stay ahead of the curve, constantly learning and adapting to new threats. And we'll need more of them. According to Cybersecurity Ventures, there will be 3.5 million unfilled cybersecurity jobs globally by 2025. But it's not just up to the professionals. 
Each of us has a role to play in this digital battlefield. We need to be vigilant, informed, and proactive, taking steps to protect our own data and understanding the consequences of our digital actions. In the end, the future of cybersecurity lies in our hands. Because in this digital battlefield, we are all soldiers.